Right. I'm going to mix up Binky's blueberry mush with his CBD, which he has every day. If you're friends, you obviously know what's up with Binky and what he goes through and that he's syringe fed very often. Um, if you're new to this channel, our rabbit Binky has very many health problems, seizures, collapses, hypoglycemia and I would like for Binky's channel to become a help for other bunnies. I've seen many syringe feeding videos for rabbits and few of them say please have the respect to let the rabbits chew. He's going from the side but he wants to take it. He wants to eat his Yeah, <laughs> eating it like it's a spoon. Last bit. Last bit. Good boy. But anyway, I'm going to show syringe feeding. I'm going to show the journey with syringe feeding, every technique we've ever used. Um, Binky did used to be bunny burritoed, um, and now these days, especially with his fibreplex, he takes it because he's so used to it. But when we originally started with his fibreplex, he wouldn't take it. He wasn't having none of it. Now, I've just recently seen a video where this spout of the syringe was put right down the rabbit's throat, including some of this bit, and turned twice and pushed, turned twice and pushed. The other one was one of these syringes. I hate these syringes because they're so big. But then they probably have to be that big because the food or the recovery or whatever you're using needs to get through there. Um, we do mash Binky's nuggets as well. If he's, if, if he's having a day where he won't eat, we mash up his nuggets to a mush and put them in here. And if the syringe wasn't this big, the food wouldn't go through. So that's fair enough. But with this syringe, I only put to there into Binky's mouth, side. So I, I just think it would be nice to put up, I'm not going to syringe feed him for the name of science. The only thing I'll do is perhaps pick him up because he's fine with that. Um, but I'm giving him the syringe feed he'd normally have. So I'll show you how he takes this and I'll also explain how he didn't used to take it. He have worn his food and his medicine. He has worn it in his hair. We've worn it in our hair. Mushrooms want it in his hair. The floors want it. Everybody's worn it, haven't they, Binky? So it's only because it's Binky's way of life and he's now two years old. But it did used to be like wrestling a small wild pig. So it wasn't always as easy as it is now. And sometimes it's not that easy. It depends what mood he's in. If he doesn't want me to feed him or he doesn't want to take something, obviously he's going to protest as much as he can. I think the key with him, if Binky won't take his medication, Karen will hold him. And I think the key when I pass him over to Karen is I cover his eyes. Now, I didn't used to do that. I used to put him onto Karen and he would leap and jump and scratch and grunt. And 
he just wasn't having any of it. But I found by covering his eyes, after doing quite a bit of research on it, I'd keep my hand over his eyes like that when I first put him onto Karen until he's settled and he gets comfortable. And then I start to feed him and then I stand right in front of him so he knows what's happening because it's routine for him. He knows when I put him on there, then he knows he starts to get fed. But we do have that initial, I need to calm him down. 